If lateness is a curse, then panic may well be its cure. A typical Monday morning starts for some with blistering pace. A missed alarm clock has seen to this. As the early morning London commute hits boiling point, some of the city's 16 million residents, each with identical objectives, seem more alive than others. For two minutes in the wide scale of time can seem insufficient. But considering the city rarely sleeps, two minutes of extra rest can cost dear in the pursuit of vast riches, promotion, and widespread adulation. The respite is short-lived, as the carriage pulls into its requisite destination, signaling the second round of the day's battle. Collisions with the public now seem acceptable, as the gentleman refuses to finish last. Tiredness now consumes the body. Dejection fills the brain. The day's events have drained him, and sleep now seems the only exit to this never-ending torment. The click from the turn of the key only further confirms the day's final actions. But the results of last night's carnage which await him replace the idea of rest with one of disenchantment. Eyes stinging, he finally rests, seeking solace in the comfort of his armchair. An anniversary outing planned weeks ago has ironically shown its face, unexpectedly leaving him in the line of fire with no shield to curb its blast. The twelfth second of the seventh hour on the tenth day of the fourth month, exactly two years previous to this very day, he embarked on a journey of partnership, which now lies in grave danger of completion. What if he listened? What if he understood? What if he never engaged in that contest? What if he never embarked on that journey? What if he never forgot his coat? or ignored his alarm. <laughs>